Welcome to In 5 Minutes. The agenda of this clip is to compare CMOS and MOS technologies and BJT, Bipolar Technology. The first point of comparison would be a power dissipation, static power dissipation. We know that in CMOS technology, a static power dissipation is approximately equal to zero, very low, very, very low. In NMOS technology, the static power dissipation is not approximately equal to zero, but it is higher than that, but it is low compared to BJT. So BJT will have the highest static power dissipation. This will be lower compared to BJT, but this would be zero. Input impedance, we know that at CMOS and NMOS technologies both you have an SiO2 layer, so it will have a very high input impedance. This is same high input impedance here also. BJT, you have a low input impedance. You Here you have a threshold voltage which you can scale. The threshold voltage is scalable. Same is the case here. Here there is no such thing. We saw that when we studied static CMOS circuits, it has very high noise margin. This has very low voltage swings. NMOS has higher noise margin than BJT, but lower compared to CMOS. So overall, it has average noise margin. So we can say that higher compared to BJT, but lower compared to CMOS. This has bidirectional capability because drain and source are interchangeable. Same is the case here. This is unidirectional. High packaging density, that's the very reason. Again, for NMOS also high packaging density. This has low packaging density. CMOS packaging density, when I say you can occupy or you can fabricate a lot of transistors on the same IC. Fine. We can also compare this with speed. Again, if the transistors are sized in such a way that it becomes symmetric circuit speed, better speeds can be achieved however the speed is higher compared to BJT so this is lower this is NMOS is going to be better than CMOS in the case of pull up because it uses an NMOS transistor and NMOS transistors are faster than PMOS transistors in case we size the PMOS in case of a symmetric CMOS then both of them would have the same speed otherwise NMOS would be faster compared to CMOS so with that I think we have understood the comparison between CMOS technology NMOS technology and BJT technologies stay tuned for further clips and thank you very much